What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be discussing iter tools, permutations, and combinations. So first we'll start off with permutations. Permutations are basically the arrangements of a set. So in our case we have a list of letters A, B, C, A. Now with permutations we're going to attempt to get all the various arrangements of the elements within the letters list. So if I run this and I print out Y, actually first I'll print out the len of Y, so you'll see that there are 24 different arrangements. And if you print out Y, we get to see all of the arrangements. So just taking a, a quick look, you'll see that first we start off with A, the first element of the letters list, and then we'll arrange the three different letters. So BCA, BAC, CBA, etc. And then we'll go to the next letter, B, and make all the arrangements. Now one key thing to notice is you'll see that there's a repetition. You'll see an ABCA in this case, and you'll see an ABCA in this case as well. That's because permutations differentiates between this A and the A that comes at the end of the list. So we have a, a total of 24 different arrangements. Now the mathematical formula is just a 4 factorial. So it's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which will equal 24. So if you have 4 elements, to get the total number of arrangements, it's just 4 factorial. Now this example was trying to find the arrangements of every single element. So if I go back up, you'll see that when calling permutations, we've only included the iterable. However, if you look at this example, we can also include a number, which includes the number of elements we want to sample. So let's just run this and take a look. Here, you'll see that we're only sampling two elements, and we're getting back all of the different arrangements if we were to sample only two elements instead of the four above. And if you take a look at the output, you'll see that A is going to be matched up with the rest of the elements, and then B will be matched up with the rest of the elements, and so forth. And you'll also notice that Python will arrange everything in the order of the list. All right. So the mathematical formula is just four times three. So basically you have four elements and you have three different arrangements for each element. Or it's n factorial over n minus k factorial, where k represents the amount of elements you want to sample. So now if we print out the len of the list of permutations, you'll see that it should be 12, which is 4 times 3, or n factorial over n minus k factorial. So that was permutations. Now we're going to take a look at combinations. Now with combinations, order doesn't matter. So it's not about arrangement. It's less about the arrangement and more about the elements itself. So let's go back up and look at this example we just did a few seconds ago. If you'll notice the second element, it's represented by A and C, and this A represents the first A, while the C, there's only one C. Now if you go down here, you'll see that you'll, you have the same representation for the same elements, but just in a different order, the order switched. Here, C is represented by the only C element within the list, and A is once again represented by the A, representing the first element of the list. Let's just go back up here. We have two A's. We have a first A and a fourth A. So let me just go back down. And you'll see this is the first A and this is the first A. And the fourth A is represented here by C and A, while the first A is represented here by C and A. So this A and C and C and A are basically the same elements, but in different order. Now with combinations, ordering doesn't matter. So you're basically just going to sample unique elements. So if we did combinations of two, only one of these two would be represented. 
So let's take a look at combinations now. So to run combinations, you call combinations, which has been imported from iter tools, and you feed it the iterable and the number of elements you want to sample. So in this case, we're going to be sampling two elements. So if I run this, you guys will get a clearer understanding of how a combination works. All right. So basically, we're getting combinations of unique elements and ordering doesn't matter. So A and B will only be represented once. This A represents the first element, while in this case, this A represents the, represents the fourth element. If we didn't use combinations and did permutations, you would see that this AB is represented twice. AB here, a BA here. So essentially, combinations with a sample of two will extract all the different various combinations of two elements. And those combinations will be unique combinations in the sense that A1 and B will not show up again in a different order. Now combinations actually has a second part known as combinations with replacement. Now in the earlier example here, you'll notice that A, or actually A1, can't be repeated twice. B can only be extracted once or sampled once. So basically, once we sample an element, we can't sample it again. So this is called without replacement. When you take something from a bag, you're not replacing it. So basically, in our case, we're dealing with the list of A, B, C, A. So once we extract something like B or sample B, we can't sample B again because it's already been extracted. Now, combinations with replacement allows you to sample an element twice. So in our case, since we have A twice, we'll be able to sample A, A as in A1, A1, or A2, A2. In addition, we'll be able to sample B twice, so B, B, or even C twice, C, C. So let's just take a look at this. So you'll notice that we're sampling A1, and then A1 again, A1, B, A1, C, and then A1, A4. And the same with B, B is being sampled twice, B, 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 C, B, A, and then same with C, 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 A, and A, A, as in A4, A4. As opposed to the above example, AB, you'll notice that the AA here represents A1 and A4. However, you cannot get A1 twice, or A4 twice, or B twice, or C twice. This is because this combination is without replacement. Well, with this combination, you are replacing the letter that you first sampled. All right, so this was a quick overview or introduction to iter tools, permutations, and combinations. Hopefully, this was not too confusing. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll try my best to answer them. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video.